Well, if you love architecture, history, and boating, there is a new book sure to capture your attention. Boathouses of Lake Minnetonka includes the stories behind 35 of the more than 375 boathouses on the lake. And this morning, we have the women behind the new book in studio, Karen Melvin and Melinda Nelson. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you for having us. Thank you. I guess this surprised me. I didn't realize there were that many boathouses on the lake. How did you decide which ones to pick? Well, um, I had a uh, cabin on Lake Minnetonka for 11 years, and so part of that deal is, of course, taking your friends and family around uh, on the boat. And so over that period of time, I just had my favorites, maybe mm -hmm. for their architecture or their history or their quaintness. And um, so Belinda and I together decided, you know, what are what what are the 35 boathouse is going to be that we feature in the book. And uh, I know that we do have some pictures of the boathouses. Melinda, were there any that stand out to you that just kind of take your breath away? Well, I think uh, the Pagoda Boathouse mm -hmm. on the cover, mm -hmm. it was built in 1916. So it was 100, 101 years old. And um, it's just extraordinary in terms of design, architecture, and restoration that the owners have preserved it. And these are boathouses that obviously have a lot of historical relevance. Uh, you, you, so people who might not be familiar, you can park your boat in here, but then there's also living quarters right near the water. Absolutely. And the Pagoda Boathouse has three levels. Wow. And now in the book, do you kind of map out where these are if people want to go and look for them themselves? Well, the book, uh, the, the chapters of the book, and there are 32 chapters, are set up in geographical order. So if you start at the Pagoda Boathouse, which is Smithtown Bay, you can go north from there into Cook's Bay, uh, that is the upper lake, and then make your way into the lower lake. And, um, you know, so it's in geographic order, basically. It sounds like it must have been a tough assignment for you. I know you <laughs> were the one who took the photographs. Yes, I did. And that means I had to get on my boat. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> and uh, go around and photograph the exteriors. And, you know, I'm, I'm picky. I like the water to be calm. Mm -hmm. uh, there's got to be a certain quality of light on mm -hmm. the boathouse. And uh, so, yeah, it was fun. But the, the folks who own these boathouses, they, they let you in to take some interior pictures? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that was part of the deal is, you know, in all of the books that I've done, and this is the fourth one about architecture, interiors, history, um, it, it, part of the deal is, yeah, we want to see inside. We want the mm -hmm. readers want to see inside. Right. And so this might be the only invitation as a reader you ever get into a boathouse. Oh, because on Lake I think Minnetonka. we've all been guilty of driving around Lake Minnetonka and just wondering, oh, I wonder what it looks like on the inside. And now we finally have a chance. Well, thank you both for coming in and for sharing your beautiful pictures. Thank you. There is a book launch party if you want to go. It's on Monday at the Excelsior Brewing Company in Excelsior. The event is from 6 p.m. to 7 30. And it'll feature a talk with photos, question and answer session, and of course, a signing. Thank you both for coming in and congratulations on a beautiful book. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.